Uh, so there's, there's, I, I would say there's kind of four major ways. So one is a person just wants to borrow against their ETH. Um, and we've had this happen with clients where a, a client that we're custodying some ETH for says, hey, I want to go, will you send my ETH back to me? I want to go borrow against it on BlockFi and buy a house. And, and literally, the, the, you know, one of the use cases, it was the first week I was at Wave, I was on a call where that was the exact conversation. And I was like, why would they send it to BlockFi? Let's uh, look at DeFi options. And um, that was one of the easiest conversations I've ever had, which is we just had a call with the client and said, look, okay, on BlockFi, you'll pay 8%. And then, you know, in DeFi, here are your options. And it was like, you know, Liquidity, Aave, Alchemix, and MakerDAO. And, and um, for that particular client and for many clients, Liquidity uh, turned out to be uh, a really great option. And so for one, it's, hey, a person just wants utility on their ETH. They want to borrow against their ETH to buy something. Um, and they're going to be holding that loan for a long time. You know, they'll, they'll pay it back over time. But it's it's like a you know a crypto native you know low cost mortgage. So so that's one use case. Um, another use case for a for a holder of ETH of ours is hey I want to earn some yield on my ETH and um, and then you have options and we'll we'll um, present a, a number of options and then sometimes have a blended strategy. So one option is uh, you stake your ETH in a liquid staking derivative. Okay. So another is you lend it or you stake it and liquidity provide it. But a, th a third option is you you uh, mint some LUSD against it on liquidity, and then you um, just either earn stable um, coin yield on that um, or throw into the stability pool. And um, and then and then you just manage the loan, uh, the debt ratio. Right. So so if I can borrow on liquidity at zero and I can farm, say, 10 percent on stables and I left it all in stables, the the risk if you're if you're managing it is is um surprisingly attractive like um so even in the event that that um the market dumps you can just pull back and pay down um and so uh, that can be an attractive yield generating strategy for some clients and, and you know and there's it depends on clients uh you know risk profiles and um and then also um is someone wanting to earn eth on eth or are they wanting to earn dollar yield um, so the, these are some of the considerations. Um, so that's that's another um, uh, way that um, that uh, we can use liquidity. And then two other quick ones uh, from the from the stablecoin side. Um, if I have a client um, who has um, some stablecoins and they say, "Hey, I want to just dollar cost average into ETH," um, an easy way to do that is to convert to LUSD, throw in the stability pool. And then, okay, if there's a bunch of liquidations, you just DCA at a discount, great. And then if there's not, and you say, okay, um, I've been sitting here for a month, I was paid for my time because I'm getting some LQTY, um, but I wanted to be DCAing faster than that, then you can, you know, market buy with, you know, you can market buy as you need to. You know, if you're, if you're employing that strategy six months ago, you got some nice liquidations, um, but you know, over the last few months, there have been fewer. So you can just, you, you say, well, you know, while you're sitting on the stable, you earn some yield. If there's liquidations, great. And then if not, you can pull a little bit out and swap for ETH. Um, so that it, it's it's a really attractive kind of DCA strategy um, for clients. And then the last one is for our stablecoin yield fund, um, LUSD is this very, very, very high quality stable. Um, and so um, earning yield on LUSD is attractive. And you know, there's a few places that we have done that. One is liquidity providing LUSD on DEXs. Um, and then another is um, uh, farming yield in the in the stability pool, um, kind of B protocol style where, you know, if you have any liquidation rewards, you just roll it back into LUSD. So those are kind of, um, I would say, the four ways that, that we've used um, liquidity.